Hey guys, Stacy here. Welcome back to Let's Play Star Stable. We left off last time leaving Madison alone <laughs> in Governor's Fall behind Leonardo's ice cream parlor. But we have returned and she's still here safe and sound. So that's that's pretty good. <laughs> but we need to continue on so that we can finally save Night Dust. <sighs> We don't have time to come up with fancy plans, Cadence. We have to rescue Night Dust now. You heard what Mr. Ann Weir said. They're going to get rid of Night Dust. We really can't wait. Unfortunately, I made her wait like a week. I'm so sorry, Madison. Cadence, we don't need the others. Dad would just say that it's too dangerous and that we have to think things through first. You and I can do this on our own. We've already achieved so much together. I'm sure that we can do this. We caught that evil chicken Samara, didn't we? Are you with me, Cadence? Come on, let's run to the station. We have to get down to the harbor quickly. She's, I knew it, she was gonna, oh, she didn't take off entirely without us. That's good, she's learning a little bit. <gasps> oh no, dad is there to ruin the day. There you are, I was just wondering where you disappeared to. Cadence, what's happened? Wait, we have to calm down a bit. Did you say that Mr. Anweer was here in Governor's Fall together with Carl? And that Night Dust was here too? Hmm. That doesn't sound good at all, Cadence. If they're planning to get rid of the horses, we have to act fast if we're going to rescue Night Dust. All right. I was going to say it sounds like he's totally on board, but now the goal for this quest is order an ice cream for Madison. <laughs> Daddy, we have to go now. We don't have a second to lose. Madison, you have to calm down. I want to save Night Dust too, but we just can't barge in without a plan. But, Madison, I really understand you, and we're going to save Night Dust, I promise you. But if we don't want to end up like last time, we need a plan. Why don't you tag along with Cadence and get some snacks? I'll try to contact the family in the meantime. I don't want snacks! She's already had a lot of ice cream today. Ugh, oh, Madison. Kins, can you go and get some snacks for us? I'll try to talk to Madison in the meantime. This does seem a little bit like a waste of time. I don't really want ice cream. Welcome, welcome. What can I do for you? Maybe a bit more ice cream? A snack? I'll get it straight away. Maybe a bit of blueberry ice cream. I'm sorry to ask, but have you seen Anastasia Silverglade? Her dog, Prince Charming, has been here for quite a while now. No? Well, she'll probably turn up soon. Here's your ice cream. Ugh, why don't they answer? What do you say, Madison? Why don't we go in and sit down for a bit? I've sent messages to everyone, so they'll call me as soon as they see them. Ugh, you can go ahead, Daddy. What will you do then, Madison? I'm not going to do anything. Or, I mean, I'll definitely stay right here. But I was going to check something out. I mean, I'm just a bit bored. What are you going to check out? I prefer that you didn't go too far away from here. Oh no, Daddy, don't worry. <laughs> Sorry. Did, did you say something? No, <laughs> not at all. I didn't say anything, just go on ahead. I'll be right there. Thanks, Cadence. Madison will be here soon too. She wanted to look at something. I guess it must be exciting to be in the city for her. What is it, Cadence? Why do you look so worried? You don't think that Madison... Oh, no. She'd never do that, would she? Of course she would. Of course she would. She'd never go off on her own after night dust, would she? Come on, Cadence. Madison said she'd be right outside. I don't think she's going to be right outside, sir. Nope. See you later. Oh, no. Now she's going to get on the tram. See you later, Madison. Time is of the essence here, so I really don't blame her. Oh, we we're already there. Nice. That's all. Madison! She said she'd stay. No, that's all. Okay, let's calm down. Madison can't have gone to the harbor. She said she wouldn't. Calm. Just keep calm. Cadence, I'm going to call the family and talk to them while I jump on the next tram to stop Madison before she does something silly. You've done more than enough for today, so you should take it easy for now. I don't have time to stay for long, but maybe I can meet you down at the harbor a bit later so that we can run through the plan to rescue the horses. Great. Sorry, there is one more thing. Could you go back to Leonardo's and make sure that Prince Charming actually makes it back home to Anastasia? I think she was planning to go straight home after she paid for the clothes, so she should be home by now. Thanks, Cadence. 
Don't worry about Madison. I'm sure I'll be able to catch up with her. We shall see. There's Prince Charming. Ruff. Is he in our inventory? Yes. <laughs> Hello, here is your dog. Oh, hey, girl. You have mommy's little darling with you. Kiss, kiss, kiss. My little baby. Did you have a good day? Before you disappear again, Cadence. Yes, of course I know your name, darling. I just have to ask, what tragic fate has happened to Eric? I mean, his clothes are so casual. Uh, anyway, I bought this dress for you. Nice. Thank you. You can, like, wear it for everything. All I could say is love it, and you'll look fantastic in it, darling. Magnifique. Merci, chérie. Okay. Let's try. Hello? <gasps> Super cute! Oh, I like it! Ah! Oh, cool. Thank you. Since now we have to wait before we can continue the Night Dust storyline, we're going to check back in with Avalon. What were we doing? Oh, he was testing the waterfall, I think was the last thing that we did, because we were dealing with GED Dark Core, maybe, over behind the waterfall. This presents us with an interesting little problem, Cadence. I'm sure I have a solution, though. We're going to take... Oh, we were doing the Shadow Seeker, that's right. <laughs> I couldn't figure out if I was doing the vacuum thing right. We're going to take this evil little shadow seeker and make him good. It isn't as hard as you might think. You see, shadow seekers are terribly angry and evil because the place they come from is full of dark and evil magic. All we're going to do is expose them to a little bit of white magic for a change. Okay, here's what we'll need to do. Take a look among the houses in town on this side of the river. Behind one of them, I can't remember which, I planted some friendly fern last year, and it should be ready to pick by now. Pick a few, and I will make a magical powder of friendliness. A magical powder of friendliness. Sounds great. Sounds like an easy way to make friends. Oh, I see the shinies. Okay. Oh good, we can pick them on the go. That was quick. This herb looks really good, Cadence. Thank you. Here we go. Now I've ground up all the friendly fern, and I've even thrown in a few more secret druid ingredients. Look how lovely the powder turned out. Doesn't it smell wonderful? Like cinnamon buns and summer meadows. If you suck up this powder with a shadow vacuum cleaner, the shadow seeker will get a solid dose of kindness. It should do the trick. Let's try it. Okay. Oh my gosh, I had no idea where the Shadow Seeker vacuum is. It's over here, around his house. I went all the way back over to Pi to look for it. It was right there all along. Look at that, Cadence. It works like magic. The little creature really sounds happy now. Here, take the Shadow Vacuum Cleaner. Don't give it to me. Apparently, I'm going to lose it super easy. You're going to need it in the future. Well, Cadence, I'm glad I could be of help. Take the Shadow Vacuum Cleaner with the creature back to the witch. Please tell her that we druids don't hold any grudges towards her. We're very happy that she is kind again, and we would love to have her over for tea sometime. Please tell Pi that we need to use the converted Shadow Seekers to close the Pandoric crack as soon as possible. It is very important that you do this. This is serious stuff. Wait, take the rest of this kindness powder with you. You might need to transform other Shadow Seekers. Okay. So let's go back to Pi. For real this time. Now that I definitely have the shadow seeker myself hello there wow the spirit sounds very happy inside the scuba tank isn't it time to let it out soon so you just just let it go is there like a recovery home for spirits the druids want us to close the pandora crack with the help of the light creatures well then that's what we're going to do now that we know how the Shadow Vacuum Cleaner works, we need to catch the rest of the Shadow Seekers and clear the way to close the rift. Catch them the same way you did before and come back to me when they're all in the scuba tank. Hurry, as soon as you have caught them all, we have to close that rift. If we're too slow, more Shadow Seekers will escape. Okay, so catch all of them. Does that mean going through there again? There's one. Oh no. Oh no! Okay, it's going back. 
So we're going to put the vacuum where the sparkles are and then hide. Bonk. Now we wait. Did it work? Oh, it's coming back now. I did. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Do we need to... We can catch more than one. Hmm. Da -da -da. Yes, we did. All right. We took the shortcut. We're back to pie. Good. Now suck up the kindness powder with the shadow vacuum cleaner. Poof. There. Now all the shadow seekers are friendly and happy. Listen to them all singing in there. It sounds really nice. We should record it and release it on your Vicify. Your, your Vicify. It could be a big hit. What? Your surprise? Just because I'm a witch doesn't mean I don't keep up with the latest technology. Apart from witchcraft, I'm really into computers and music. Anyway, back to what we were doing. Now we have to make sure that the rift is closed so no more evil gets released into the world. Take the happy light creatures up to the rift and place them around it on the ground. Together, they should give out so much positive energy that the rift collapses and the portal to Pandoria closes. Good luck, Cadence. I like that we're fighting evil with happiness. Just singing and happiness. <laughs> okay, we've made it to the rift. Let's place this thing down working all right got one spot of light two two spots of light is that enough yes closing the rift we did it excellent oh everything's still a little marred though Oh, I bet it has to live like that forever. I hope that can heal. I mean, it does look super pretty, but it's it's also a little, like, burnt. Pie, we did it! We closed the rift! Well done, Cadence. I could feel the darkness leaving the mountain from here. The light creatures have returned to Pandoria. Why? Not everything Pandoric is evil, you see. It's quite complicated. Hmm, Pandoria, where should I begin? Well, Pandoria, you see... Well, once upon a time... Hmm. Ah, speak to the druids again. They can explain this Pandoria thing much better. I don't have time for that right now, you see. I left my kettle on the stove, so I need to hurry back before it boils away. I also have laundry to do. I have to run off now, but this was nice. We should have lunch sometime. What do you think? See you around, Cadence. I would love to have lunch pie, thank you. Now we'll go back to Avalon. Pandoria, I knew you would ask about this one day. This is not knowledge we share lightly. It isn't that we don't trust you, it's more that we need to be sure that you're truly ready to accept and comprehend this knowledge. This is what we ask ourselves. We need to discuss this with the council, Cadence. Have patience. In time, we will share all our knowledge with you. <laughs> but not yet. Oh, so we have actually unlocked the next bit of the story quest. So we're going to have to go visit Alex in, where did it say? Moreland. But we're not going to do it yet. We're going to save it for next time. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you enjoy the videos. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.